In the following video, we will introduce the Zeiss Measuring Strategies Cookbook. We would like to show you examples of how using the cookbook strategies will help you solve your everyday measurement tasks. Worldwide, in different countries, metrologists are working to solve both simple and complex measurement tasks. They are faced with a variety of GD&T characteristics and will need to make decisions like, do I measure with single points or scanning? How fast should the surface be scanned? How many points should be taken for each feature? When do I need a filter, and what calculation method should be used? Many times, the goal of the metrologist is to accomplish the measurement task as accurately as required and as fast as possible, especially in the production environment. Taking into account the negative influences on the measurement, the accuracy, and efficiency, it is important to provide reliable and, above all, comparable measurement results. Significant influences on the measurement results come from both the user and the measurement strategy. The quality requirements of products are becoming steadily more demanding. Manufacturing tolerances are always closer. The growing demand for accurate production machines is implicitly tied to the growing demand for more accurate measurement technology. If the same measurement task is solved by two different metrologists, Many times we are faced with two different results, with varying evaluation and measurement strategies being the culprit. With the help of the Zeiss Cookbook, we would like to support you in making a worldwide efficient, accurate, and above all comparable measurement result, which we define as a robust measurement strategy. The cookbook contains recipes for solving everyday measurement tasks. The idea of the cookbook is to provide the user with a series of templates that outline measurement strategies that, when followed, will achieve comparable results. The comparison of measurement results only makes sense when working with the same measurement strategy. The cookbook differentiates between measurement strategies for both functional checks and process control. Where a common example of a functional check is the plausibility of a part in an assembly, and process control is where we normally would provide parameters or correction values to a process. In addition, the cookbook distinguishes between the evaluation methods of ISO and ASME. When searching for evaluation strategies, which we abbreviate with a capital R as in recipe in the cookbook, the different parameters, such as sampling strategy, are listed in tables. The acquisition, or sampling strategy, which we abbreviate with a capital Z, can also be thought of as an ingredient for a recipe. Additional abbreviations, such as position, symmetry, height, and others can be found in the overview of the measurement strategies basics. Let's take a look at the first example. In this drawing, testing the roundness of a shaft with a diameter of 100 millimeters is required. After opening the cookbook, refer to the table of contents and you will see a recipe for roundness evaluated as a functional check. Step one is to prepare for the measurement by qualifying the probe systems, aligning the workpiece, and building clearance planes for navigation. In step two, you will find the sampling strategy 
of the measuring circle or cylinder, in this case, Z200GF. In sections A, B, and C, you will find the suggestion for the probing strategy Z200GF. The cookbook then suggests whether circles or cylinders should be measured, as there is a dependency on the ratio between the diameter and the length. When measuring with an active sensor, denoted by a lowercase a, the cookbook recommends to measure a circle element in scanning mode at a maximum speed of 15 millimeters per second. The circle element should be measured with a minimum of 4,250 points, a 380 degree scan path, and a stylus with a diameter of 5 millimeters. Additionally, the circle should be evaluated with outlier elimination, setting the parameters of sigma at plus or minus 3 and with 5 adjacent points, and pre-filtering at 10 to 5,000 undulations per revolution. The measured circle is then evaluated by a Gauss filter with a cutoff frequency of 500 undulations per revolution. And back to the recipe. Now we will finish with steps 3, 4, and 5. The inspection characteristic roundness is created taking into account the tolerance and analyzed by the Chebyshev minimum element and then subsequently output in the report. Now, let's take a look at a second example. Here, the position of a 12-hole bore pattern needs to be inspected. As illustrated in the print, the holes have a diameter of 8 mm and a depth 20 mm. Step 1, again, is to prepare for the measurement by qualifying the probe systems, aligning the workpiece, and building clearance planes for navigation. In addition, Different possibilities for the datum or reference frame construction can be seen in the table. For this example, case 4 matches the print requirement with datums A and D. The sampling strategy of the first reference is Z400LF. In sections A, B, and C, the cookbook describes the measurement of a plane. For a surface area of 80, to 250 millimeters, it suggests, when measuring with an active sensor, a stylus of 3 millimeters, a maximum scanning speed of 20 millimeters per second, and a step width of 0.31 millimeters. The plane should be evaluated with outlier elimination, setting the parameters of sigma at plus and minus 3 and with 5 adjacent points, and pre-filtering at 0 to 10 lambda c. In the table, you will also find the settings for the recommended Gauss filter, in this case set at a wavelength lambda c of 2.5 millimeters. The acquisition strategy of the second reference, D, is Z100LF. Here, a cylinder with three circle paths is recommended. The cylinder should be measured with a maximum scanning speed of 5 mm per second, a minimum of 425 points, with 380 degrees of coverage per circle path, and with a stylus no larger than 3 mm in diameter. The cylinder should be evaluated with outlier elimination, setting the parameters of sigma at plus and minus 3, and with 5 adjacent points, and pre-filtering at 10 5,000 undulations per revolution. The measured cylinder is then evaluated by a Gauss filter with a cutoff frequency of 50 undulations per revolution. The sampling strategy of the feature in step 2 is Z100LP. Recommended as a cylinder with three circle paths. You will measure with a maximum scanning speed of 15 millimeters per second and 425 points on a 380 degree circle path. The diameter of the stylus should not exceed 3 millimeters. The cylinder should be evaluated with outlier elimination, setting the parameters of sigma at plus and minus 3 and with 5 adjacent points eliminated, 
and pre-filtering at 10 to 5,000 undulations per revolution. The filter for the feature is a Gauss filter with a cutoff of 50 undulations per revolution. Step 3 is to create the bore pattern characteristic for a functional check by selecting features and datums. As shown in step 4, the feature is evaluated as least square Gauss and the reference features as outer tangential. The best fit calculation method is recommended as a tolerance fit. And in step 5, the bore pattern is output in the report. All recipes have been proven by Zeiss as being a good default, but depending on your special functional needs and special production processes, they might not be the appropriate measurement strategies. So it is of much importance to control always the measuring results on plausibility and conformity yourself. You are now able to use the Measurement Strategies Cookbook to find and apply the recommended strategies to solve your measuring tasks.